Thank you very much for joining us this afternoon, everybody. Uh, it is with great pleasure that I introduce Mr. Nakanishi, the Chairman and CEO of Hitachi Corporation of Japan. Uh, today, the Japanese Diet approved uh, a policy framework uh, dubbed Society 5.0. Uh, which is extremely appropriate for us here at the World Economic Forum, given that the theme uh, of our meeting is Mastering the Fourth Industrial Revolution. Uh, Mr. Nakanishi will give us a briefing on Society 5.0, and then we'll have a discussion, and I very much look forward to welcoming questions from you uh, in a, just a minute. Thank you very Mr. much, Mr. Michael. And it's a great opportunity for me to have this kind of the uh, representations uh, the, uh, uh, looking back to the, uh, the, the World Economic Forum's uh, program, the, uh, the program pillars uh, this, the consisting of the three the important items. So that is the first one is mastering the fourth industrial revolution. Uh, that is the uh, most important items. But the second one is uh, addressing global security issues. And third one is uh, solving problems of the global commons. But those three is not uh, independent uh, as, uh, the items or subjects. It's uh, fully related to the each others. But because of the other, uh, all of the issues are uh, very much you know, complicated, uh, cross-related. Uh, that's uh, the we need. Uh, uh, the, the, that's the background. We need uh, some kind of the different thinking way or taking of the, the process to that. But uh, go back to the uh, the, the fourth uh, industrial revolutions. The, the basic technology might be the IoT or big data, and the, some of the, uh, the those kind of the, uh, the information technology allows us monitoring the various and social phenomena very carefully, and that kind of the, uh, the big data handlings uh, might may show the uh, the future directions what the solution is. Those kind of things is um, one thing to to coping scoping up the 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 global security or some of the global commons problems issues. So uh, the, uh, today uh, we would like to propose to extend uh, such approach, such capability, or for solving of the, uh, the so many the social issues, not only for the manufacturing industry only, but also the some so complicated the social issues. So we could like, would like to call the uh, future society as in society 5.0. Why the five is the first is a hunting, the second is an agriculture, the third is an industrialized society, and fourth is a, usually that the information so society. But now, fifth, is not simply of the information, not simply of the industrialized. It's a combined to the, uh, the super smart society. So we would like to call it uh, Society 5.0. The current you know, social problems is um, sometimes you know, very complicated the total schemes. The <coughs> yesterday sessions, I had the uh, transformation of the energy. The, that's uh, also the very typical example. The electric grid behavior will change because of the, uh, that some environmental considerations of the so many that renewables, highly distributed of the uh, power sources. It's uh, also that uh, more complicated demand side management is uh, required. The total electric grid behavior is uh, changing. Uh, so that uh, uh, conventional electric grid is a huge uh, electric power stations delivering of the, the every consumer side, but now the recent you know, the, the complexity of the uh, electricity requires so many the detecting of the every phenomenon of the grid. Otherwise, the sudden blackout or the very unstable the electric conditions. That's a typical example. The looking back to the uh, urbanizations, the recent urbanizations uh, used to be the, uh, the, the humankind uh, spent uh, 100 years to build up the uh, medium population of the cities. But the recent you know, emerging countries within the 10 or 20 years, setting up the, uh, the medium populations. But that causes uh, so many issues. So that such kind of the, uh, the, the very rapid de development of the urbanizations, 
Earth requires uh, monitoring of the population, energy, transportation, not only the such infrastructure, but also that education, healthcare, and housing. Those kind of the, uh, the well-designed approach is required. In this case, the monitoring power, IoT, the big data, is really that uh, strong tools for the futures. Well, let the uh, Hitachi Group uh, is, uh, has a focus on the social innovation business uh, since 2010, just after the, uh, the Lehman Shock. The, uh, uh, the, the, that, is, that means that uh, social infrastructures designed by the uh, various such kind of schemes, uh, the IT and OT. IT means that information technology, but also operation technology is combined with to set up the, uh, the most appropriate environment for the, uh, some infrastructures. So that uh, we made uh, several uh, success in uh, several of the regions, countries. But however, that, uh, we seriously recognized that such activities cannot be done by ourselves only. The, the various uh, collaborations is uh, required to set up the, such kind of the more complicated development work for the society. So the today is where the all, all of you that have already the, some of the brochures is a very simple two pages here. And uh, the very important uh, three uh, items uh, that we need to approach for that. The first one is that open innovation. And the second one is the collaborative creation. The, to, uh, to approach of the, uh, the real issues, to set up the uh, real solutions, the collaboration is a very, very important activities for us. And finally, that the service platforms is uh, kind of the how to find of the uh, real solutions for that. That's those kind of things is our approach. So in Japan, the, we have had the discussions on such activities with the uh, various uh, collaborative relationship buildings, the, not only the, uh, 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 the, the industry, but also that the government and academic background, how to combine of those kind of the uh, uh, collaborative creation stages for the future of Japan. Today, uh, already the Michael uh, introduced that the Japanese government announced of the fifth science and technology basic development plan today, just today. And uh, that's uh, uh, the Society 5.0 is a core part of this uh, uh, basic plan. And the Japan uh, would like to contribute to the, uh, the such a the, the more sophisticated solution provider to the world. That's uh, the, the very basic plan for the, the Japanese future industry and the business and also the policies. So, the, today, uh, I, I would like to introduce of this kind of type of the concept that will be shown in uh, this, uh, you know, the, the homepage here. So the, that's uh, today. I would like to explain of the, the society 5.0 is a fully uh, strictly related to the, uh, the the mastering of the fourth industrial revolutions, the main subject of this uh, the World Economic Forum annual meeting. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, in the brochure here, one of the things that features very prominently is the, the fusing of cyberspace with physical space using information technology. Can you talk a little bit about how, some examples of how this is happening? The, uh, the current you know, the important uh, subject for the, uh, the setting up this type of the platforms, how to make it available uh, the very useful database or big data yeah. itself. The, of course, the big data issues are sometimes related to the, uh, some privacy or security or so many things uh, is on uh, uh, kind of the, uh, uh, the, the negative portion of these uh, activities. So that how to manage of the, uh, the, uh, the, those kind of things uh, very secure way. And also that the endorsement of the government is required. So, the platform means that not simply of the technology platforms, the, but also that some the, some social base, uh, which kind of the, uh, the you know big data can be utilized, and uh, 
the extending of the such a the database to to combine with the various environment mm -hmm. and uh, in the context of 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 the Japanese government announcement today how will how do you think that will change the government's thinking about how will the government's thinking evolve around investing in research and development the uh, the of course uh, the science and technology basic plan include of the not simply of the technical issues is uh, how to uh, making a clear the world for the uh, japan's uh, industrial environment business environment as well so the other uh, the setting up the, uh, the some of the budget planning will be based on uh, each year's uh, budget plan the the so some of the uh, the 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 this year's budget planning so those kind of things but now the uh, the we set up the five years long term relatively long term of the the concept and the long term of the uh, way directions is uh, already shown in this plan so the, the what I want to say is that uh, real planning of the uh, government and the, the private sectors and academic, the, the making a the clear difference to this plan and uh, break down it each year's approach. I see. So uh, it, it's, uh, it's a very, it's a very long term view. As we know, in the days of the fourth industrial revolution, it's very difficult to see far ahead. So, it's um, can you explain how how taking that longer term view will help reduce unpredictability? That is, uh, you know, still the uh, a lot of things to be done to setting up the real plans. But now, the uh, the already I explained the two important uh, uh, the keywords, open innovation, yes. and the other is uh, collaborative creations. Those two is uh, not uh, you know, in detail yet, but uh, the, those key two, 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 two keywords is the creating of the, the another the platform for the society. Yes. Like completely different from the technology issues is an, a kind of the political approach to making a more open innovation and uh, also that uh, how to create of the, the collaborative work to setting up the future stage of the, uh, the for example, the, the healthcare, yes. uh, how to manage the total cost yes. and setting up the, the various rules that sometimes it requires our, our own lifestyle change. And how do you see uh, hit, how do you see Hitachi changing as a result of of these ideas as a company? Yeah, already we made a big effort to create of the uh, such a uh, social innovation business, but now the uh, the, the Hitachi is a very typical manufacturing industry. So the uh, the our employees, our colleagues, is and tend to think that. Our technology is the most, you know, the advanced, or our solutions is one of the best of the world. No, no, no. Before that, we need to understand what the problems, what the issues to be solved, and how to arrange of the other approach, not only by us, but also the some other partners. Mm -hmm. Those kind of the different you know, approach is required to setting up this business environment. It's a not so easy approach uh, from the viewpoint of the typical manufacturing industry, conventional way. Yes, because yeah. the conventional way is to, to focus on selling your own products at the expense of those of your competitors, whereas with this, this open innovation and collaborative creation, you're looking to pick the best from everywhere yeah. and pull it together to the profit yes. of all. Yeah. Yes. A yeah. And also that... Uh, the currently that we are making big effort to the uh, the real tools to share of the issue the because of the uh, in this case in many cases the customer does not understand what the real issue is <laughs> sometimes uh, more complicated situations uh, uh, <coughs> excuse me i'm already touched on some of the urbanizations the uh, the 
planner of the urbanization requires uh, so many the excellent uh, uh, the experts yes. uh, understandings of the everything. It's uh, very hard to find of the such uh, planners, so that we need a more collaborative creations to setting up the far well, they are in a development stage for the future of the cities. Yes. Those kind of things is also required for that. So the, uh, the big challenge, and especially the emerging countries, the, uh, the, the government organizations, uh, and also that the financial planning, uh, so, so that uh, the, the, the somewhat a different type of the uh, business model to be developed. Very good. So with that, I might open open questions to the floor. Does, uh, who's going to ask the first question to Mr. Nakanishi? In that case, oh yeah, oh. <laughs> <laughs> this young lady here, please. Hi, I'm Sue Chan from The Telegraph in London. Japan faces some uh, pretty unique demographic challenges. Um, how do you think uh, your country will uh, master the fourth industrial revolution? How can it take advantage of all the things that we've seen here? The, uh, today, I explained it. Uh, the what's the, uh, the industry 4.0? That's uh, proposed by the German society. It, it's uh, very much in the focus on uh, manufacturing industry, especially the automotive industry, or the, the typical example for that. The, today, I explained of the, uh, that's uh, one of the example. More the complicated social issues solution business is uh, kind of the, the future of the Japan. The Japanese government, uh, there used to be the promoting of the exporting of the infrastructures to the emerging country. No, 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 that's a uh, simple exporting activity is no more feasible. We need to understand what the real requirements of the emerging countries or emerging regions to setting up the uh, more you know, dream for, for the futures for each emerging countries. That is uh, how to share of the, uh, such uh, the, the blueprint for the futures. Those kind of the activities is uh, really that requires for us the so so the other that's a kind of the uh, the Japanese strategy for the future Japanese economy. The, those kind of things is uh, a part of this society 5.0. The I'm now pro, uh, promoting of this type of the activities, not only internal Hitachi but also that uh, all of the uh, Jap Japanese partners. But uh, sometimes. Not only the Japanese, the, the, that's our personal experience that simple exporting of the something, sometimes not the solutions. Oh, that's a good product, but uh, I do not want to, do, to use it. Those kind of things is, may happen in many cases, especially the, uh, the complicated, uh, for example, the, the railway systems. Uh, what the other passenger expect is on fully dependent on the lifestyle. So we may have the different type of the solutions. Setting up the you know, train itself is a very typical product-oriented approach. But how to set up the total transportation way in, in that country, in that city, those kind of approaches are required. That's the Japanese advantage to setting up the new business environment. Uh, I believe this gentleman here had a question. Thank you. Hello, uh, my name is Katsuhiko Hara from Nikkei. Um, two days ago, UBS uh, issued a report about the Forest Industrial Revolution saying that it will take the advantage and um, away from the emerging countries now that you don't have to make clients in emerging country in search of cheap labor. Do you think that is the case, and maybe Hitachi will not have to go abroad to make um, products? You can just make them all in Japan or elsewhere in the industrial nations. Yeah, that's uh, the more complicated questions because of the uh, the, the recent you know, ten years or five years, the Japanese industry gave up the uh, commodity products business. The, even though there are some of the uh, mass productions uh, business schemes, 
some very much, you know, the specific materials or components uh, that cannot be the other countries cannot do. Those type of the business only feasible. So, so the, uh, in this case, not the simple of the, uh, you know, that, that's a factory, how to sell it. The, 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 it's really that such kind of advanced, uh, you know, products requires of the more deep understandings of the, uh, the end users or the customers. So, so the industry 4.0, the somewhat, you know, the, the very strong uh, tools to setting up the more complicated business model from the viewpoint of the, man, uh, the manufacturing industry as well. So the, uh, the, the, that's kind of the fully dependent on the market. So, so the, uh, you know, that the, for the industry 4.0 is a kind of the other way to uh, adjusting of the business model to more market oriented. Hi, hello. Uh, I'm, I'm Chen from Sena, China. I, I would like to know, uh, in this forum, we heard a lot about how the industry 4.0 uh, will affect our life. And the people say that might be um, destroy the middle class or maybe damage the low income people. Um, do you think that would be the case in Japan as well? Thank you. The, in, in Japan, the, uh, the somewhat different uh, you know, social phenomena is the uh, population is decreasing. And uh, young uh, laborers is uh, really that, uh, the facing of the some of the different the working environment. So, so the, uh, uh, the, the already that we uh, had, had to give up the, uh, some of the commodity productions already. <laughs> so we don't have any such kind of the blue color candidates. <laughs> so so the, uh, the more complicated, each country has its own the working the, the environment and the, the, the populations. So, so the, uh, the, the, uh, why I uh, the talking about those kind of things is that the one reason is that the very simply the, the, the very much you know, the such kind of the IoT or AI, uh, artificial intelligence uh, eliminate of the uh, job opportunity, uh, the, uh, the conflict of the job environment, uh, those kind of things is m people tend to think that, but more complicated uh, social issue exists. The, in case of the Japan, we don't have any such kind of the labor issues at all. That we are really that we want to have world blue colors, but we cannot do that. <laughs> That's the current situation. But now, still the uh, the very serious issues: educations, how to make it more, you know, that the younger people, the, the encouraging to challenge of the uh, such the high level of the jobs. Just as a follow-on question from that, uh, how do you? How do you see the, the fitness for purpose of, of our education systems, Japan's education system in particular? Is it producing the kind, of, uh, the kind of skills and thinking that you will need as you yeah. tackle the fourth industrial revolution? Yeah, that's uh, not strictly related to the, uh, the industry 4.0. That's uh, how to encourage the younger people more the, you know, the aggressive challenge for the future. So, uh, the, the, that's the kind of the, uh, you know, the, uh, the very basic education schemes for the future younger generation. We have a very serious discussions. But the, uh, the current, you know, the Japanese university level is okay or not. And how, how they are uh, setting up the uh, more middle level of the uh, education system is inappropriate. The, the, at the time of the, uh, you know, that the high growth rate society, that is 1980 or 90, the, 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 the students is always the, the, oh, I need to be uh, getting some of the, uh, the acceptance of the universities and the, the accept of the, uh, the various, you know, that uh, had training for the entrance examinations. But the recent younger people, oh, I don't like it. <laughs> the, the how can encourage 
the such a younger people to make setting up the more attractive the school environment. Uh, attractive is not the uh, easy way. It is really that uh, how to encourage the younger people to learn a lot. Yeah, indeed. Uh, any more questions from the floor? Yes, sir. Mr. Nakashin, you are from my generation. You have seen Japan going from number two in the world, the GDP economy, to number three. How do you see the future 20 years from now? Mm. <laughs> and what kind of advice would you give the young generation that is coming? The, uh, the we cannot stop the uh, globalizations of the economy, and we cannot stop the uh, digitizations of the so dynamic uh, the the world. So the uh, uh, the not the specific Japanese society or Japanese countries or Japanese government or those kind of things is how the uh, how can we encourage of the younger people to to touch on a more diversified world. That's uh, one of the key points. So the, uh, at that time, what's the real position of the Japan? I don't have any clear idea yet. But now the, uh, I believe the Japan is uh, the, the, the very good you know, culture to, to harmonize of the society. Sometimes it means of the weakness of the Japan, but sometimes very strength of the Japan. The, those kinds of harmonized societies culture, technology, or approach, I would like to encourage it to be a very uh, unique position of the world. I don't have any the specific, you know, the number of the position of the world. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry for that. <laughs> Just to finish off, as a, as a co-chair of the, the forum's annual meeting, the theme being do you, do you believe that we are mas that we that we that we are capable of mastering the fourth industrial revolution, or do you think it is beyond our control? I'm very optimistic person. So the, uh, the those uh, industry 4.0 or uh, the fourth uh, industrial revolutions will make the uh, the, the more uh, the safer, comfortable, and dreamproof the futures. Mm. So that. Uh, the, as an uh, co-chair of these annual meetings, I'm very much uh, you know, the supporting of this type of the approach for the uh, mastering of the force, uh, uh, the industrial revolution. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very much. <coughs> okay, thank you.